was the actual episode. Saying, okay. Yeah. Hello, Dead Bodians, and welcome to the world's quietest podcast. This is ripped from Markiplier's World's Quietest Let's Play. Yeah. So, yeah, this whole episode, we're just going to be quietly whispering. do that 
that same thing for the uh, gunshot, uh, like like bullet wounds and uh, you know like gunshots and objects for CS2. Like it's this weird parallaxed uh, 3D material that they do. Oh yeah. Well, 3D uh, looking material, but it's you know it's just funny normal map, but it's like oh, nice. has layers to the normal map. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Also, they do that same, uh, like, fluid thing for the Molotov. Oh, shit, I dropped my cap. I'll be right back. Yeah, it is. 
I do like funny truck sim videos, though. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on any of the drama, but yeah, I do miss truck sim. I miss the, the funny incidents. <laughs> Crashes. Crashies. Yes. All, the, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. They... I feel like now's the... Oh, yeah, what? No, you go, you go. Because I feel like now's the time for like someone else to like fill that market gap, you know, and start Ooh. trucking it up. That is, uh, well, I mean, it's not over yet. They still have a bunch of unreleased stuff that they said they were gonna release. That's true, and, yeah. Uh, take a step back. Um, yeah. Which I'm, you know, they 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 were gonna get a new office, dude. Yeah, I know. It's like kind of it, a promo. It kind of looked like an epic office. Yeah. Yeah, I think I watched the video of them touring it. It looked pretty sick. Oh, season is in Gen G2. G2. Are we just going to whisper when he joins? I feel like we should. I, I mean, he's in G2. Gonna be like, should we drag him in? I, I know we are, we are recording a podcast right now. Oh, wait. I oh. think I have a channel limit set. I do have a oh, channel shit. limit set. It's okay. It's okay. We're recording a podcast. I can, I can add him. To think, actually, I don't know what I just heard. I heard like a, I heard someone say, "Yeah." Oh yeah, I said yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> it kind of sounded like someone else. I was like, "What, Slender Man?" <laughs> oh, no, that's scary. Don't say that. <laughs> I like that clip from Funny Guy that was going around recently, where it's him on this uh, carnival. You know, the one where you're on like a seat on like a swing and then it spins you. Oh, yeah. That's a banger ride. And Peter Griffin is like, he has like a really tall neck for some reason. Um, oh, yeah, I love that. Episode. And then, and then, <laughs> my favorite family guy clip. And then he, he's, he's riding on the swing and then, and then the teen goth girls, uh, one of them goes, it's Slender Man for no reason. And then he goes, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound right when I whisper it, but it's really funny. It's really funny. It is really funny. I feel like Family Guy is best experienced in the form of clips versus actually watching full episodes. I, I, I personally feel like Family Guy is best experienced in the form of people being as quiet as possible, retelling what happens in those clips. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane goes, oh, fuck, we got to copyright claim these guys because they're taking away all our customers. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just going to be running in to get tickets to see the, the Family Guy clips. <laughs> <It's pretty rare. laughs> I'm sorry, my, my my big voice came out there. I'm sorry, that was my... Oh, dude, you got to be careful. My outside big voice, voice is scary. Big voice is I not know. welcome here. <laughs> I don't know why we find this so funny. It's just, uh, I, need, I, actually, I actually need to tone it down a little bit. I'm starting to... Yeah, you need to calm the yeah, fuck down. I, 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 need, I do need to calm the fuck down a little bit. You need to, so, you're, like a, you're like a beer. You need to, yeah, you need I need to take it down. I need, I need, down. I need, I need to down. Should we, should we... Okay, so we're planning on doing uh, FNAF Let's Plays soon. Yeah, I do want to do some FNAF. It's each one of the Dad Bot members plays FNAF. One of the FNAF games. And I feel like it would be really funny for the fourth one we do the World's Quietest Let's Play. Because that, be kind of that, game. that game is supposed to be listening and being really quiet. Yeah, it's very it's a very sound dependent for yeah. that game, I feel like. That would I don't know what, I don't know I really I don't, I don't know if I would be able to do that though because I'm such a I'm such a pussy when it comes to horror stuff. I feel like it'd be hard for anyone to do that really. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm down to, I don't know. We would have to get like the like market player or something. <laughs> it'd be crazy. We had to, yeah, hire a market player to do it for us. I was thinking like maybe doing sister locations. So I've never really played yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. watch any videos on sister it, locations. But. Fire. I like, I really like yeah. the second one because it's way more of a game and not like super, super scary. 
So I, I like I like the second. The second one is pretty fire. Yeah. The second one's pretty good. Max, is, I think Max is gonna do the first one. We need to record it though. Um, yeah, we do need to. And three and four is up in the air for who does those. I think it'd be. Okay. I feel like season is probably geared to more towards three, and Ethan would probably be better for four. But I don't know. It's yeah. up to them. Whatever they want to do. Yeah, I really. Um, I'm not super crazy about three because I just. Yeah, gameplay for me and that just isn't really that fun. It's just a constant loop of having to restart all your devices to yeah. not die and stuff like that. I feel like it was definitely just more of a lore game uh, yeah. for yeah. Scott than it was for a gameplay or anything. But uh, like hearing interviews with Scott about FNAF and FNAF 3 specifically, it seems like he was very, very stressed out.
So this is one that was huge and it like you could see it like break apart and burn up in the atmosphere. That's really cool. I like that. That was really sick. Yeah. It's kind of crazy that rocks sometimes are like, I'm coming in and then they just fucking yeah, they blow up. In the yeah. There was one that was really crazy that I saw a few years ago. It was like, it looked like a fucking incoming nuclear missile. It was crazy. <laughs> it was like massive pieces and there's red fire dude you were watching the filming of Oppenheimer <laughs> dude that was it was insane dude that's the coolest coolest meteor I've ever seen did you find Christopher Nolan and tell him to put it in the script where Oppenheimer says Fortnite default dance to Albert Einstein I signed an NDA so I can't oh, disclose okay. that yeah. but you know what I'll say is that possibly Yeah, you have to like 
mess up your hair and yeah. mess with your eyes. Yeah, like you have to like, if you don't you have, have to, like, if you don't have bags under your eyes, you have to get like your sister's like mascara a little bit. Just get some shadow on there. Yeah, you gotta you gotta look the part too. You know? Yeah, I've had eye bags for ten years straight, and I don't know how to get rid of them. I don't know either. I kind of have eye bags are not that bad, but you know you can you can kind of see them. There. I think it's just because I'm always tired. I have a picture of my eye bag. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you've seen this, you've used it before. Uh, I think so, um, yeah. I have a picture of my, it just... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up. It was, uh, I, I used my black light that I had in my room and just yeah. my my eyebags just it looks like you it looks like you painted them in with sharp I know that's just my natural eye bags that I did this is fucking crazy that's pretty crazy my yeah. eyes are really funny in that image too cause like usually whenever someone's looking at you they're they're like you know eyes like the the part that's not white is like cut off by the eyelid in some way yeah. Oh, isn't the pupil the black part in the middle? I'm talking about the whole, like... Oh, your iris. Yeah. So, yeah. usually your iris is cut off by, like, uh... Yeah, but if it's just open where you see the white around it, it's really odd-looking. Especially, like, it's, like without the... Without the hands, because the hands, you know... I 
sometimes I feel like, like every few minutes, I just gotta take like a big, deep breath away from the microphone. Yeah, I feel like whispering is definitely like you're old, like you're slowly letting out air. It's like a balloon, you know. Yeah. I feel like, like I'm trying not to breathe into the microphone, so like I'm breathing in more than I'm breathing out. Yeah. So I have to like release the pressure. I feel like you don't really need to worry about it too much. Like you, know, you can just let it go if you want. <laughs> I hope it's 
it's received good. Um, yeah. I, I hope think it's kind of epic. I think it's epic, too. I hate button yeah. again. I don't know if anyone's ever going to even listen to this, so, you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like, even if I do put it out, it, I feel like the only person that will is Saiku. But yeah, even then, I don't, I don't think he's going to get this far in the podcast. Yeah. And if he did get this far, Saiku, then leave a comment saying, uh, that's it. Leave a comment saying, uh. Leave a comment saying, hey, boys, winky face, and then put the timestamp. Yeah. Yeah. And don't yeah. put the emoji for winky face. So you have to type out winky face. Yeah, like you have to do like colon winky face colon, but make sure it doesn't turn into like auto automatically convert to an emoji. And uh, if you already did the emoji, then you have to go back and edit your comment. Yeah. Oh. Alright, there's your there's your weekly homework, like. <laughs> It's good. Um, 
It's fine. Because I feel yeah. I feel like you can afraid it with that in there too. Don't worry, it's fine. Okay. It's white dinner, don't worry. I'll just do this one. Oh. Um, and then I have some seasoning and stuff that I would throw in there. It's like Yeah, that's a good idea. But I decided against it because I was like, ah, it's fine. Because I, I just I don't have any milk. I need to go to the store. I need to do laundry. I need to go to the store. I need to do dishes. That's the three things I've been putting off for the past three days. Because I've just been too tired and not on the right sleep schedule for it. I so see that. it's just, bro, you know. It's like, a moment. Yeah. I've been waking up at like 11 p.m. You yeah, know, my sleep schedule has been pretty fucked up. I've been getting up at like 6 p.m. It's kind of a bro moment when, like, when you aren't up before the sun sets, yeah. it feels like you failed. <laughs> it does feel like you failed. It feels like, yeah, feels like you've well, wasted a bunch yeah, of time. Like, I'm but, like, well, fuck, this day's fucking over before I even got started. Yeah. I think my biggest thing is that it's just like because nobody's up and nothing's open. Like, if I wanted to order food, I just don't feel like I could. Because by the time that I'm awake and, re- like, you know, I'm ready to order food, then it's just one in the morning and it's fucked up. Yeah. It takes, me, it takes me at least, like, three hours to be fucking, like, cognizant, you know, to, like, be, like, that tip-top shape. Yeah. And usually in the morning I'm, like, pretty ready to go. I mean, I think it's most mostly because like I have to be because yeah. like I, I try to maximize my sleep you know? yeah. like if I have school in the morning I get up right at the time I have to leave and then I make a bad dash out of the house in like 30 seconds just because it's you know gotta get those gotta get those Z's in but <laughs> sorry I'm just I yeah <laughs> Is that is a funding moment, 
That is your tax dollars at work, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, good thing I don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that on the podcast. <sighs> well, I don't make any money. So oh, yeah, you're illegal. Right. You're right. Yeah. But, you know, once I make money, maybe I will. <laughs> I will. I will. Not a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kind of a moment. It seems kind of complicated to follow them. I mean, I know it's not that complicated because yeah. fucking stupid people can do it, so. It must I just, I just don't know why we have to do ta- our own taxes, you know, like why the people have to do their taxes. Why can't I just, I mean, obviously you can hire people to do taxes. Yeah. But why doesn't the government do that and we just pay extra for that to happen? Yeah, I'd rather pay more taxes for the government to do my taxes. Exactly. Just include it in with the tax bill. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck is better that way? Like, I know a lot of places that have, like, really easy, like, online tax filing. Yeah. Like, Canada, you can file online in, like, pretty much every country in Europe. But for some reason, we still have, have some bullshit. We gotta mail it in. Yeah. Like a fucking loser. Our okay. government websites suck, too, because they're just, like... Oh, yeah. Bruh. But I understand why they suck. Because they have to, like, encrypt everything. different. It's weird. The people in 
is so much more fun than the daytime shift people. Because, like, they get to fuck around a little more. Yeah. But sometimes more they'll more. just not give a shit and not melt yeah. the cheese on your burger. Because I've had that happen yeah, really a couple times. Yeah. You get one or two people at nighttime. It's like, yeah, the guy that doesn't care at all and puts in minimal effort. Yeah. Or the fun, crazy people.
it's easy to eat a lot of Taco Bell. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe I stopped getting normal soft shell tacos and just getting the burritos. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I've never been super crazy about, like, the, the hard tacos. Honestly, just hard tacos in general. Yeah, hard tacos are good. Yeah, I, I like Doritos Locos Tacos because the shells. Uh, yeah, those are good. But I feel like just the. It's either like they're. The taco shells like all soft and kind of mushy. Oh, yeah, it's especially at the bottom with all the meat. Oh, yeah. Or it's like if you get a nice crisp taco, it fucking crumbles in your hand and it's a big mess. Yeah. So I just. I always go for like a soft taco or burrito just because it's so much easier to deal with. Yeah. It's more consistent. Man. Okay, I have an inquiry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Taco Bell versus Taco John's. I've never had Taco John's, so I cannot wait. Okay, so that ends that inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... Taco I, John's I, is like... Oh, yeah. there you go, sorry. Taco John's is like... Like a weird off-brand Taco Bell. I feel like that's kind of like a local thing, though, because I've never even heard of Taco John's. Really? That could be a local thing. Because I feel like I feel like Del Taco is the is like the off-brand Taco Bell. Yeah. But like, I swear Taco John's is like. More it, it could it could be more popular in like your state or, or like in states around your state, like you know, like that type of could thing. Could be. There are a lot of Taco John's. Because I have like a Casey's General Store Pizza Hut. Or not uh, Pizza yeah. Hut. Uh, Casey's General Store and Casey's Pizza uh, in my area. But that's only in like the southeast of America. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It says there's 379 Taco John's locations. Okay. Then it's not just a local thing. Okay. This yeah. is probably not at all. The headquarters is in uh, Cheyenne though, which is really close by. So... <laughs> Yeah, Maybe that's why I like it. It's probably just down the uh, like the northwestern type of region yeah. of yeah, yeah. But I don't yeah, know. I think I prefer Taco Bell. Taco John's is kind of overpriced compared to Taco Bell, so it's not really worth it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Should we do like a few more minutes just in case like we got cut out at the beginning? Uh, I mean, I think of like, uh, even if it's like a 50 some minute pod, that's fine. Personally. Yeah, that'd be okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Dead Bodians, for coming to the sleepover. Uh, yeah. I, I think mom has passed out on the couch. Yeah. Um, I think someone I might think. want to go in there and turn the TV off. I think I can hear her snoring. Oh yeah, she's off chewing away. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably go turn the TV off. I can turn the TV off. Well, we're gonna go do that, Dead Bodies. Right. Thanks for coming to the, the sleepover. Thank you. See you. Thank you for listening. This podcast. And have a good yeah. night's sleep, because this is a sleepy pod. It is a sleepy <laughs> pod. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, gamers. Don't right. let the bed bugs bite. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>